It's the Nordic island nation of about 335,000 people. Uh, this isn't an actually new, but it's been a while. It has extensive genetic operations that generated some of the biggest breakthroughs uh, in our understanding of disease. A lot of, uh, uh, how do you say, homogen? Uh, it's, it's homogenous, uh, a lot of the population there, right, Megan? And uh, joining us from Reykjavik. Also, I've heard That's Iceland is Iceland is like green, and Greenland is like ice. So, yeah, it is a beautiful those place, Vikings. right? That's right. They say Greenland is ice and Iceland is nice. However, we've seen a lot of ice around here in Iceland as well. It is having a bit of a moment now for tourism. The number of people coming into this country for tourism reasons has doubled in the last five years just to see the northern lights, those beautiful sights, as you mentioned, Joe. What people may not know is that it really is a hub of important genetics research, and that's because, as you pointed out, it is a fairly homogenous population, something known as the founder effect, meaning a lot of the population here descended from common ancestors. And this population has remained relatively isolated isolated over more than a thousand years. Another thing that makes it great for doing genetic research is the geneal genealogical records here are just incredible. We visited the National Archives and got to see the world's first complete census, which was taken in the 1700s. And the records go back way farther than that, back to the 800s. Beyond that, they have great medical records. Those things all combined make it a great place to do genetics research. We talked with Kari Stephenson, the CEO of Decode Research, which was founded in 1996 in order to mine this data. Here's why he said Iceland is so great for this. There is a relatively few ancestors that account for a large percentage of current day population, which means that rare variants in the in genome of Icelanders, the ones that exist in Icelanders, is more common than rare variants in outbred populations, which means that it is easier for us to make discoveries of rare variants that associate with risk of disease. So DECODE has made discoveries in things like Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease, sometimes not even things that lead to disease, but things that protect people from disease. Really fascinating research. And they've got a blood bank in their headquarters of 500,000 blood samples from half the population of Iceland. This uh, gold mine really is being uh, mined by Amgen now, which bought into DECODE in uh, 2012 for $400 million. We'll have more on that work coming up on Squawk Alley later today, guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.